Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Happy snowy Tuesday. So yesterday we had a giant windstorm, blew off our lamp post on the side of our house, blew everybody's trash into our yard, and then it started snowing all night. And it's already starting to melt, which is awesome. But it's just a horrible sight. You're not gonna wanna go out there. You're not gonna wanna go out there. Oh, <laughs> look at that mess. Is that a big fat icicle? I don't think you wanna go out there. <laughs> don't think so. But the sky is blue over there. I should just throw her in. <laughs> Get some little kitty paws going. Yeah. Shall we knock this down? <laughs> okay, come on in. Come on. You don't want to go out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Anyway, I'm still working. But I came down to fix my, my yogurt parfait. I get the almond butter Greek yogurt blueberry parfait at my grocery store. It's $5, but it is so amazing. It's very indulgent. It's not good for you. <laughs> there are 300 calories and eight grams of fat, 14 grams of protein. 24 grams of sugar but these are so amazing and these are just a once in a while thing and it comes with this on top and it's got um, flaxseed and granola and then it also comes with a spork that you bend and snap together bend and snap can anybody tell me what that's from? So this is almond butter, Greek yogurt, and then the blueberries are down there. And this is thick, and I have to stir it like a crazy woman. Ugh. You have to like get on down in there and dig it all up. And a lot of the liquid floats down into the bottom and or sinks down into the bottom and so yeah I'm sure this doesn't sound attractive I hate that noise the crinkly moist wet snap stuff so just turn down your volume So now that I have that stirred up, I'm going to dump in my granola bits. And then I'll stir it up again. This is really yummy, really. It's not tangy at all like a Greek yogurt. It's really sweet. And it does fill me up for a long time, so that's always good. I mean, it's better than big old pancake breakfast, right? Mm. So, now that I took my little break, I'm going to go back upstairs and work. I hope the snow melts. It's not supposed to snow for the rest of the week, and it's supposed to be in the 50s and 60s, so I think we're good. Here I go, back to work.
you guys. We're out of the door. We're onto the road. Oh my gosh, the snow is like totally melting already. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> I went outside and I looked at the our our lamp thing that like sits on on our house, like by the garage. You know, we have three a light and the wind had blown it down so it was like just dangling well Daryl put duct tape on it and like strapped it to the house <laughs> we have the biggest ghetto house it's like a broken light duct taped to the house oh my gosh it's hilarious but we didn't want it because it was just dangling by the electrical cords and we didn't want it to dangle any lower or fly around so we he just taped it to the house <laughs> but it's a pretty day and I'm glad to be out of the house it looks like up east in the mountains it's snowing because you can see it's like but anywho so we're gonna go to the Dollar Tree and then probably go to Old Navy because it's like on the way back and I have to go to the store and get a prescription, duh. And mail a package. And go to the post office and pick up the package. So that's what's on the agenda for today. See over there, you can see where the snow is falling. It's all white and foggy. And I can totally see the snow on the rooftops of the buildings from here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Totally cute. Oh my gosh. I want one of these for the yard. These are super cute. Don't judge. I'm in the car. The 
this Dollar Tree is so lame. I don't even know why I go to it. They did not have not one bolero thing. Not one bolero. I wanted to maybe try some soap or something. So I just got a few things. And a lot of it should be in the freezer. And I wanted to go. I have a couple more places to go, but I will. So I got this, this little folder and this folder. I don't know, they're just so cute. I mean, look at the tulips. And it's just one of these. And you open it up. I just think it's so cute with the flowers. So this is like one of the only new things I saw at my Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, this one is just so lame. And then here's a cute little pink flower one. And then I got three of these apple chips. They're so good and crispity crunchy. The car just pulled up next to me. Holy crap. How embarrassing. Just act casual. I got these potato sticks by Snaps. I've never had these before. And then I also got the regular cheese sticks by Snaps. And at home I also have the frozen green beans from Snaps. And I haven't cooked those yet. And then last but not least, I got some chicken crackers. I've had them and I love them and I tell everybody else to get them and so they get them and they love them and then I don't get them for a while. So I decided to get them. And that's all I got today at the Dollar Tree. So now I'm gonna head off to the Old Navy and then to the store to get my prescription. You know what I mean? And I'm leaving just in the nick of time because everybody else is coming on in. Everybody else is coming on in. And they'll be in my way. So, let's see, do I wanna go? It's like school's getting out and so all the kids are coming in. Seriously, like 10 kids just came in. Kennedy, get going. So now's a good time to just get out. Here's a thrift store, Calvary Thrift Store. I've never been in it before. And it's right next here to the Dollar Tree. I should totally try it sometime. Uh, I'm going over speed bump. There we go. There we go. Ugh. Oh, what is that? That's a cool bush. That's something you don't hear out of my mouth every day. Oh, all right. Off we go. Hey everybody, I'm out of the Old Navy and I spent $24. I bought a really super cute t-shirt on sale for $8 and then a really cute long, long shirt for $13. Um, Cause I bought a pair of just plain black stretchy leggings and I needed something extra long to cover that booty and my hips. <laughs> And this shirt that I got will do it. And it's just like a blue and white striped Oxford shirt, but it's super long. It's so cute. So I had something similar that I got from Walmart, but I'm going to return that to Walmart, I think. It was on sale for 11 It was by Lee, I think. But I'm going to return that because it's not as long in the front as I wanted it to be. And it's almost the same color as what I got. So I don't know. We'll just see. But I'll show you when I get home. But I have to go to the store right now and get my prescription and then go to the post office. Hi. Hi. I saw a pound of the gourmet macaroni salad. ice cream and I got a rotisserie chicken dinner kind of sorta 
So I got our favorite macaroni salad that they make. And this was at the checkout stand. It was a dollar and it's their broccoli salad. It's just the perfect little serving. So I got one of those. Daryl doesn't like it, I'll eat it. And then, oh my gosh, I saw this. What? The Haagen-Dazs Crispy Trio Layers, white chocolate and raspberry sauce, lemon and raspberry ice cream. That looks amazing. And then I got one of these Itty Bitty Babies, the caramel cone. These are so good. And then I got this for free with my bonus points from the store. So this was normally $2. It's a great big long baguette. Here's the rotisserie chicken. I need to put this in the oven. So this was normally $7. So I got $9 of free stuff. So this is dinner. The chicken, the baguette, the pasta salad, and some broccoli salad. And I'm gonna make a little bit of coleslaw. And it's gonna be good. Because inquiring minds want to know, I'm gonna taste this ice cream. Oh yeah. And it's always best to eat it with a fork so you don't have to fight with it. Mmm. 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 That is so good. So like right here, that piece right there, that's white chocolate. That must be the crispy part. Mmm. White chocolate and raspberry sauce. This is heavenly. Wow. This is so good. I just love it. Mm. Very nice, very nice. It's all melty because it's been in the cart. So this is how I eat my ice cream. I just eat it out of the carton with a fork. And I'll just skim the top and then I'll put it back in the freezer. Mm -hmm. This is good. This little thing was $5 or $6, but... It is what it is. I don't buy this very often at all. Oop! I'm gonna put the chicken in the oven to stay warm. Here are my shirts that I got from the Old Navy. So this is just 100% cotton, but it's really soft and thin. And it's, you know, what I said, what was it again? Oxford. It's kind of like an Oxford material or not Oxford material, but you know, just the stripes and stuff. So, and it's, it's a pullover shirt. So the buttons stop here and then it goes really long and it's a long sleeve shirt and I can totally roll these up and then look at this darling t-shirt. Oh my gosh. This was on sale for $8. Is that not the cutest? I just think it's adorable. I just love it. So, can't wait to throw that on this summer. So anyway, that's what I got at the Old Navy. This and that. You guys, I just opened up my package from my friend Allie in Malaysia. And I also received a really sweet card from Sue. And her last name is Forbes, a really sweet Easter card. I did a whole video. I had to make this a whole separate video because it just took me too long. But look at, look at this glorious mess on my table. Ali in Malaysia spoils me rotten all the time. And she never puts a return address so I can't properly thank her, you know, but 
I just love this gift and I appreciate it very much, Allie. So thank you very much. And Sue's Easter card is so cute. And I'm really sorry that it's after Easter and I just got to my post office. It's just, it's the way I am. I just, I wait forever to go to the post office anymore. And it's just been a really crappy week all last week. And, um, I didn't go anywhere last week, let's just say that. But um, this, this card and Allie, your present, it just really made my day today and put a smile on my face. So I just wanted to thank you. So watch for the video. Okay. This is the cute wallet that Allie gave me. And it's got kitties on it. And they go all the way around like that. Oh my gosh. And I love this because it is super duper lightweight. And I know that when I fill it up, it's not going to be heavy. And so here's my old wallet. And I cannot wait to switch out and put in there. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Thanks, Allie. And now... I'm gonna make some coleslaw. Um, this is just from the Walmart. And then I use this craft coleslaw dressing. This is amazing, you guys. It's so good. And I also use this on hot dogs and hamburgers and my chicken burgers. It's it's awesome. This would be even good with just French fries, like a like a dip. A fry sauce. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make that. Oh, and by the way, I've got my Scentsy going. Oh, this is the best, most refreshing, therapeutic, exhilarating scent ever. It just smells straight up like spearmint with just a hint of rosemary and it is just absolutely invigorating. I, these are $2 a piece at the Walmart and it's just, I bought so many of them. Well, I bought four or five of them the last time I was there. So I have three left, one, two, three. And then I think I'm just gonna take this one back. This one, this smells too strong. I haven't used it, but I think I'm gonna just take it back. But oh my gosh, these are amazing. It's what I'm gonna use all year long. I just absolutely adore this. I adore it. I just adore it. So I just pour some in. Um, That kind of looks like a lot, but after you put your sauce in and let it sit for a little while, it shrinks. So it should be just enough. And then I just pour a little bit in like that. And less is more. So if you need more, you can put more in, but don't put too much in at first. And then I put some pepper. You don't have to put any seasonings, but I like seasoning. Here's some onion powder, just a little bit. I like onion powder and everything. And then just a little bit of seasonal. I don't know why I put this in. It's really not noticeable, but I just do. I just do. And then you just stir it around and that's it. And then just I put it back in the fridge and let it sit. See, it's already shrinking. It's already wilting down. So, anywho, that's how I make my coleslaw, everybody. Let's taste it and see if it's okay. I was gonna blow on it. Mm-hmm. Mm. You guys, if you like coleslaw, and you want to be lazy about it, get this. It is so good. It does not taste funky. 
I've had other brands besides Kraft and they were crap. They tasted funky and nasty and ew. This is the only one I will use from now on. It is the bomb. It is. Do it. Go get you some. Do it. Trying to get to eat, everybody. Mm -mm -mm. Lola's right there. Lola, come on in! Come on! You're right there. Just come on in. You want to go get Sissy? Whatever. Come here, Momo. Hi. Yes. Sissy's just being silly. I love you. Hey everybody, welcome to the closet. We're gonna shut the door. We're gonna shut the door. So yeah, it's 8.30 everybody. And it, the sun, well no, the sun's not shining, but the sky is still light. It's so exciting, I love it. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. Do, 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 do. Ooh, did you see that? She's getting feisty. So anywho, yeah. Um Um So yeah. It was a crappy week, all week. No need to get into details, it was just crappy. But, things are getting brighter. So, anywho, let me show you again. This is the cute shirt I got at the Old Navy. I hope it doesn't shrink, it's a large. I tried, I should have, did I try on an extra large? I tried on an extra large and I almost got that and then the the large looked a little bit better on me. So, but sometimes their shirts shrink and sometimes they don't. And I hate having to remind myself, okay, hang dry this shirt, you know. But anywho, I love this. And then here's the other shirt. This is really thin and lightweight and airy. So, super cute. And then the one from Walmart that I got. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. It was on sale for $11 and it's by Lee. And the back looks like that. Um, it's really cute, but I don't know how often I'd wear it. I don't know, maybe I'll hold on to it. I've got some white pants I can wear with it. Okay, I'll keep it. <laughs> 
it is what it is. Um, the snow has just about melted and dinner was so good. The chicken was just mwah. And then our friend came over and helped us fix our light on the house. <laughs> no more ghetto duct tape holding it together. So, and then he also helped us fix our garage door because like the gears on the actual motor, that thing's gonna blow one day. It's, it's going. But he souped it up and fixed it up and it ought to last a little while longer, but we're gonna have to get a new, a new motor for that. And they showed me how to open the garage door with the red string, the red pull, in case I ever get, in case it ever breaks and I need, and I need to get out or whatever, or get in. I don't know. So yeah, that was nice because all this time and I've never known how to open a garage door with the manually. I've never done it. So yeah, that was the exciting part of the night. Now, Daryl has a doctor appointment tomorrow. He's got to see a new doctor because his old doctor just up and quit one day. He just got up, said I quit, and left. And so Daryl had to find a new doctor. Crazy. I don't know what that was all about. But that's just crazy. So, he found a doctor that's like right around the corner from us, which is very convenient. So now he's filling out all the forms and stuff that you have to fill out. Those are, those are such a pain, but it's so nice that you can do it online now. So he's doing that. And yeah, that's about it, everybody. That's about it. I'm just so over the snow and I'm ready to wear shorts and even crop pants are still too, it's still too cold for even crop pants with sandals. I don't know. I just, I'm tired of it. I just want spring to spring. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Well, oh, I want to tell you, Lola is like a whole new cat. Since she's had all her teeth pulled, she is happy as a clam. She is sweeter than sugar. She just acts different. She's happy. You can tell she feels good. She's just a whole new cat. She lets me love on her and maul her and she doesn't snap at me or she doesn't care. She just and she's really lovey to me and Daryl and she just she's amazing oh my gosh I am so glad that we took her in and got her teeth pulled she is amazing and so now she's eating like a pig because it doesn't hurt her to eat anymore um and Momo is eating like a pig um I just have, I just get regular Friskies wet food, you know, and I give them dry food as well. And Momo and Lola love the Friskies. I was getting them pro-choice by Purina and I had to get it at the, at the, um, PetSmart and they didn't really like it. I mean, they liked it, but they were like, meh. But now that they get the little Friskies, the cheap kind, the chicken flavor, Oh, they go nuts. They go nuts. And Momo is getting chunky, and I love it. I love a chunky Momo. So anyway, I just wanted to give you the the lowdown on Lola Bella. She's just so amazing. And she was sneezing right after we brought her home from the vet. She was sneezing really badly just sneezing like 15 times in a row and you know snot was flying out and every day but each day she would get a little better and a little better and a little better and now poof she's completely done 
it must have just been, you know, I looked online and sometimes they can sneeze like that after having oral surgery. And yeah, she's done. She's better. She's amazing. I love it. I'm happy for her. And I know because I've had teeth pulled myself and I can tell you how much happier I was after all that mess was gone. Anyway. <sighs> I painted my nails that Sally Hansen color. I don't remember the name of it, but it was kind of pinky nude. And then on top I put some sparkle, that Deborah Lippman sparkle top coat. I show you. Um, it's just kind of, um, I don't know, like a pink with a really light peach undertone to it. And then I put the sparkles on it. There you go. You can kind of see it like that. But yeah, I like it. It floats my boat. Maybe tomorrow, if I remember, I'll show you the name of the of the the color. But anywho, I'm gonna go now. This video is awfully long. I'm gonna have to condense. So I hope you had a great day today. Thanks for hanging out with me, and thanks for all your love and support and your your caring and reaching out to me and asking me if I was okay and checking on me. I just love you and you guys are all super sweet and I am grateful for each and every one of you. And yeah. So I will see you soon. Good night everybody. Uh, what? That's a cool bush. That's something you don't hear out of my mouth every day.